hello boys and girls, moms and dads, everyone who loves butterflies. We've all heard about the issue and what is happening to the monarch butterflies and I came here to this nursery to find out if we could do something, if you and I can do something to help the plight of the monarch butterfly. And this is Heather and she's going to tell us some things. <laughs> um, Horticulturally, the, the monarch needs to have milkweed for it to lay its eggs. Um, it'll lay the eggs on the milkweed. A long time ago, milkweed was growing everywhere, in fields everywhere, um, where today we see our corn growing, um, but we don't see our milkweed growing there. Um, with this change, we still need our corn so we can eat, but we also need our monarchs because they're part of a bigger picture with bugs and insects and our birds and our deer. Um, so we need to have the monarchs here. And in order to do that, they're gonna have to have a place where they can live, just like your house. They also have to have a place that they can hatch. And then when they hatch, they're gonna need to have food. And when they come out, they're gonna need to find colors. They're attracted to certain colors. Um, you probably have a favorite color, it's probably yellow and red and orange, just like the butterfly, they're attracted to those bright colors. Um, so at your home with your garden and your parents and siblings and friends, you can do many things. You can buy a milkweed plant and with changes in horticulture, you can buy a milkweed that doesn't grow aggressively. Um, it doesn't spread, it doesn't seed aggressively. The butterfly will make its eggs and it will turn into what's called a chrysalis on the plant and it will hatch and then you'll have your butterfly and you can actually watch this oftentimes as you see the chrysalis you can cut it off and put it in a jar and you can take it inside and watch it because it'll feed off of that piece and then you can release it into your garden um, but with that you'll have to have several plants that a butterfly will be attracted to with the nectar and the colors such as like purples with your salvia and yellows with um, daylilies and then daisies, what we call our natives. Nowadays, now that people are really excited about wanting to bring the monarchs back, they have come up with a lot of gardens at schools. Um, the, a lot of the schools actually have a very specific butterfly garden. So if you do a pot with butterfly weed, butterflies will find these gardens. Um, so you don't always have to have an actual garden for, for your efforts. Um, so what you're talking about, one of the things, a lot of us have a very small yard. So our option would be pots, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. Um, they do have a milkweed that's an annual, which is the one for pots. Well, this sounds great. You know, something if we all work together, I think we can make a difference. And I really appreciate you taking the time because this is a very busy time of year for the nursery. Growing Grounds is, is right here helping us to help you to help solve that problem. Thanks so much, kids. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Heather. You're welcome. Thank you.